I'm Ben from Cambridge Audio. We're known for making a smashing range of hi-fi products. I'm here to tell you about digital music. We've all heard of digital music, and most of us listen to it every day. But what does digital music actually mean? When you listen to an instrument or your favourite band live, the sound that you hear is analogue. When it's recorded, it's normally turned into a digital signal, making it easier to save and play. Digital music is a way of representing sound as numerical values, ones and zeros. It's different to analogue media like magnetic tapes or vinyl records, where the sound is stored in a physical form. A digital audio signal starts with an analogue to digital converter, which converts the analogue signal from a microphone into a digital signal. So that it can be stored or played, the digital signal then needs to be turned into a particular format. This could be CD, or a FLAC, WAV, or MP3 file. Formats like MP3, FLAC, WAV, and Apple Lossless are all non-physical forms of digital audio, which can be saved on a hard drive or streamed over the internet. When we talk about digital music, we're normally referring to non-physical media like this. Digital music can come in physical form too, like the CD. The surface of a CD contains pits and lands which are read by a laser. The information on the CD changes the reflected power of the laser beam, which is measured and decoded as binary data, ones and zeros. Physical digital media is becoming less and less common due to the popularity of streaming services and the convenience of non-physical media. So that we can listen to it, digital music needs to be played by a digital music player. This can be hardware, like a CXN or MP3 player, or software, like iTunes or Windows Media Player. 